Hello there viewers, this is the fake crystal set maker, you know. I was doing uh, part four of uh, Journal de Mar Vion Rose or so, something like that, v v or some, some old rubbish. Anyway, my old memories of uh, the sort of how I got started in like I thought I'd tell you. You know, uh, I, I was always interested in radios and old clockwork stuff and... Uh, one day, we, we, during the war, we lived in some flats next to a bleeding bomb site. Plenty of them about then, of course. Not so many about now, but I'm trying to buy one. A anyway, um, I found this bleeding metal clockwork thing. I thought, that's interesting. I said to my mate, I reckon that's quite interesting. And he said, yeah, I reckon that's interesting too. So I took it home to me old dad and he said, bleeding hell, what you got there? And chucked it out the bleeding window over the balcony onto the bomb site. I said, What'd you do that for? He said, It's a bleeding landmine, you stupid sod. And gave me a clip around the ear. You know, it was like that during the war, you know. Oh, well, we live and learn, don't Well, we nearly almost sort of didn't really then, did we? <laughs> oh, God. I say, you free crystal set maker, what on earth are you doing here? Oh, I was, I, was, I was sort of telling my sort of story, and I thought I'd use, when you were out, you know, I've been out giving R uh, Kenny an absolute thrashing for a disobeying order. What the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be out polishing the car and polishing my boots. I want those boots looking like the bonnet of my rolls. Oh, well, oh, God, I thought I'd sort of put, set down some of my old memories, like, and I, what are you doing with the expert junior there, you sort Absolutely shocking. Oh, well, so I've got something funny to tell you. Well, no, it better be funny. It, it really had to be. Oh, you sounded like that bleeding lady dealer. Well, I thought I'd tell you about this sort of bloke that you know who collects them blue amber old cylinders and wants the whole bleeding lot of them. Oh, yes, I think I know him. Yeah, well, it turns out he collects something else as well. Oh, well, this had better be interesting. I d oh, you're an absolute rotter. And this had better be good. Well, it's... Uh, well, he sort of collects shoes. Shoes? What sort of door-to-door? -door? That sort of thing. Like some sort of tinker chappy. No, no, no. I remember sort of chappies like that from, from uh, when I was in the army. They were absolute rotters and they usually wear sort of, uh, have motorcycles, that sort of thing. Oh, well, I think he has got a motorcycle, actually. You're right there, Colonel. Um, yeah, he sort of collects these trainers. What sort of horse trainers? No, 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 not that sort of thing at all. I was down the stables the other day. There's a couple of decent-looking fillies there. Oh, God, I wish I could find some. That woman at the bleeding phone affair would have done... I'm not interested in that, Reg. What are you telling me? Well, that bloke, uh, you know, collects their old cylinders. He collects old... Uh... <laughs> Sort of old, uh, sort of trading shoes out uh, of the old uh, shops, you know, Nike or or Adidas or whatever they called. I don't believe it. You're actually Roger. <laughs> He's some sort of foot fetishist. Yeah, it turns out his mate, you know, the leading dealer, he's keen on them too. <laughs> I, I can't believe it, what you're telling me. That's absolutely hilarious. What a joke. I'll give you a damn good thrashing if you're not careful. If this story does not stand up, and I, I shall have a chat to a few of the gentry in the gramophone business, and if this story doesn't stand up, fake crystal set maker, I'll give you a damn good thrashing, just like I've given old Kenny, you rotter. Oh, please don't do that. I'm an old man. We've heard that before. Oh, well, viewers, keep them peeled. Oh, gold.